video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you about global colours in swatches. Now, I've got the swatches palette over here. So you've got standard swatches and you've got a whole range of different colours. So you can just obviously just go over there and select that part and you can see that one has been used, that swatch has been used to fill that. And then you go over there and you can see that one's been used there. Now, say you've now, if you go to this one again, like I say, I've selected that one just to show there, deselect, and then you go and change that colour. Don't want to use that. I want to actually go back to more red. So click OK. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't change. So now, maybe that you're perfectly happy with that and perfectly reasonable. Now, actually, if you actually select that one, you'll notice now nothing there is actually selected. Now, there is a global colour, global swatch. And if you select that one, you can see that it's actually a global swatch and you can see a little marker there. And likewise, if you go down to this one, this is also credit, it's again selected. Now, I can deselect that now. And that's something I think, right, the company logo is no longer gonna be that brown. I'm just gonna go for maybe a slightly redder color for the company logo. Then I can click there, okay. And then anything that's connected to that color, that one that's been created there. Now you see suddenly that changes to red, that changes to red as well. And likewise, this one over here, similar. So you can just basically go over there and say you decide you want it more yellow. Of course you could change the name, I guess, but click okay and they all change at that point. To actually create one, I'm just gonna quickly go over here. So a new swatch, go to this right side menu and new swatch and you can actually just select there normally by default it's not global so you can just set it to be that and say I'm going to go for a blue so blue right just go for a, that color blue click OK now I've got nothing selected at this moment so I'm just going to select that one that one and that one and now I'm going to make that define those as blue and then obviously let's like say if I change it at some point I decide that I don't want that. I want it universally to be changed over this document. I can then just quickly go in and change it for all of them. And I just go for a lighter or purple, click OK, and it's all changed at that point. 